Baseball, all right. What is, more, what is the most important? Accelerating, sprinting, or running? Accelerating. Accelerating. Do you guys know what acceleration is? Yeah. Uh -huh. what, what is it? Somebody define it. Like getting going. going off Taking speed. off quick, like a quick start. Change in velocity. All right, negative acceleration would be slowing down, right? Positive acceleration would be speeding up, all right? You've got 90 feet between bases. Can you hit a top speed, a sprint speed within 90 feet? No. Unless you're like super slow, right? Which then you're not playing baseball anyway, all right? You're not gonna hit max speed in 90 feet. Now, how far, how far is your lead off? Feet. Yeah. Twelve feet, you're getting ripped off. John, how far is it? How, uh, Ryan, how far? Probably like eight feet. Eight feet. All right. So now you just took ninety feet that you've got to move quickly over. And you've you've turned it into eighty-two feet. Okay. How far negative acceleration do you need to slow down so you don't overshoot the base? Probably like ten feet. Ten feet. So now you've got to accelerate over how far? Uh, Seventy-two feet. Seven feet. Right. Even shorter for going from second to third, right? Your lead's gonna be a lot bigger going off second. Okay, so what we wanna focus on, if we're gonna steal a lot of bases, right, you guys are sophomores, you guys know that Mayor likes to steal bases, right? We're gonna focus on those first five to six steps. All right, and to make it more simple, we're gonna count strides as, as our left foot. All right, so every time our left foot hits the ground, that's one stride, two strides, all right? So we're gonna just count three steps on our left foot. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be your initial six total steps. Make sense? All right, how do we accelerate faster? What's the one way that you can accelerate faster? Yeah, very close, all right. Get lower. Create more force on the ground, all right? Now, can you only do that with your legs? How else can you do it? Like swaying with your arms. Right. Now your arms have to be swing, have to have to be moving in line with the feet, right? Because if 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 this isn't happening at the same time, and it's like that, that's actually slowing me down. All right. Your arms need to be going straight. If and I, I see this way too often. All right. At at the JV level, your hands are going out as you're running like this. Well, what is that doing? Down. That's slowing you down. That's throwing force on that way, throwing it that way, right? You got to be going into the ground. All right, now, when, when, with your arms, which is the proper way to run? This or like that? The second one. Second one, right? Elbow comes back, come up, apply force down. Elbow comes back, right? All right, any questions on that part? No. Okay, so what's the fastest sport in the world as far as as far as accelerating and sprinting goes? Track, track, hundred meter dash, right? How do they start? Start low. They start low and block. Okay, so if you need to accelerate quickly, baseball you don't get blocked, right? Because you guys aren't in T-ball where you have to start like lead us on base, right? So how, so what do you do? You need to get yourself as quickly as you can into a low start position, like track run. Okay. All right. If you watch slow motion videos of like Mookie's first step, right, or Tatis's first step, they're ideal. Right. You can you can draw on it. You can you can have, you know linear lines and everything. Perfect start. All right. That's where I want to get most of you guys. All right. By mid-season, I want everyone to know how many strides it takes for you to go from your lead, from your typical lead, to your, your slide in a second. All right, I want you guys to know how many strides it takes for you to go from your typical lead off a second into your slide in the third. Because then all you gotta do when you steal base is count. All right, if I know it takes me 10 strides to get to second base and I have to slide them, I'm just counting to 10 and then sliding. I'm not worrying about where the ball is. Right, because if I know as a coach, if I've got a chart in the dugout and it's and, and I've got all of your times from first to second, and I've got a stopwatch and I'm recording how long it takes the pitcher's initial movement until when the catcher catches the ball, 
without even knowing the caching clock time, I can I can I can figure out if you have a really good chance of scaling that base successfully or not. All right, and that's going to help us win ball games. All right, any questions on that part? All right, so what we're going to start out with is we're going to start out with working on ball drill, ball march. All right, so you're going to be at a 45 degree angle. Can I slide over? All right, I want you at a 45 degree angle here. All right, eyes are going to be up. I'm going to say go, the first go. Knee comes up, toes come up. All right, why are the toes up? So that you can get the ground at the right angle. Yeah, it's, more, it's way more efficient if I'm already in this position to strike than if I'm here and then I've got to get myself in that position. Okay? All right, so it's going to be my eyes are up like I'm running. Go, and then next go, it's going to be switch. All right, I'm driving into the ground hard. Notice that I'm striking the ground under my hips. All right. Next, we're going to go to A skips, then we're going to go to B skips. On the B skips, I want to make sure that nobody is striking out here and then pulling. All right, that's when hamstring swing injuries happen when you're running. All right, if you're, if you're sprinting and you're out here landing in front, not only are you going to be slower, but you're also putting on straight on the hamstring. All right, so it's very important that you're striking directly under, under your body. All right, so that's what we're going to work on. Go, 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 two more, go. What's going on here with that? Get that hand up. Go, go. All right, relax.